Okay guys, uh, back again with a, another little lightning quick uh, V-Ray tutorial, this time looking quickly at V-Ray Fur. Okay, so here I've got a head poking out of the floor, which is very unfortunate for this guy, and I've just created a uh, cap made from the head just by duplicating it and moving it across and deleting some faces and then putting it back on top of his head again. So this is where um, the fun comes. Okay, so what you want to do, you want to go into the uh, create menu and down to V-Ray and let's just snatch that tab off. I'm going to go to V-Ray Fur, add fur to selection and we can see we get a real funky haircut straight away and it's created a nice little V-Ray Fur properties node. So within this node in the attribute editor we can uh, change the length of the hair like so we can also change how it bends so we could give them that kind of mohawk look um, we can also change the thickness because if we render it now it's going to be really really thick let's just have a quick look uh, let's get rid of the uh, let's get rid of that So you can see it's really, really thick there. Probably the sort of thing you'd want to use maybe for a thick woolen rug, which uh, this is really good for. So we'll bring the thickness down quite a lot. We'll perhaps taper it as well. Um, and let's have another look. So again, unlike um, any other render engine, this is actually, uh, sorry, any other render engine, unlike um, Metal Ray, this is actually creating a polygonal fur straight away, so it, it's easy to work with, And but all we're seeing here, the feedback is just a bunch of uh, curves, control curves. <clears throat> so we can um, add more strands for the preview if we want to see what it's actually going to look like. Let's turn that right up. Um, and we can also go back into the fur attributes, we can give it more hair so as you can see as I'm turning this up the hair in the viewport is getting thicker okay just be careful with it because you know too, too much hair and you're gonna bring your render times way down so let's just um, let's just bend it over a little bit um, also the other neat thing that you can do is obviously we can assign shaders to this so if we just get the rendering editor open and I'll just create a V-Ray MTL. You can create a V-Ray hair shader, they are down here. Um, but you just select the hair and then add. Did my. No, I created a blend. Oops, my problem. Let's just select the hair and add that to it. And let's open up the attributes of that. And we can just choose a colour. I don't know. Let's just go yellow. It's a bit bonkers. And as you can see we've got some lovely yellow hair coming in there and we can also add some reflectiveness to it to sort of make it look shiny and that but um, in essence that is V-Ray hair it's also um, really good for grass using V-Ray fur um, we can see that we can just assign uh, another V-Ray fur node to here um, and we can again just crank this up Add some more of this. Pull the length down, and then we can play with the gravity if we want. So if we just want our grass, just to be doing that, we can also play with the variance as well. So just so we've got a less uniform look going to it. With the thickness, you probably want it thick at the bottom, and then bring the taper in. Let's just have a little look at how that looks. It's going to be grey, obviously. But yeah, good start, and you can see that obviously um, this is reacting to the light in the scene, and it's not rendering too slow. Although I am only rendering at 640 by 480, so we can up the amount um, of divisions per face. Obviously, that UI has stopped updating now because it's gone over our uh, set preview amount. So if I just stick that up. Um, 
So render it again. We've got some more grass in there now. And what you can do, um, you can obviously just uh, create one fur node just for one polygon. And then you could just duplicate that and snap it around and, and just create it. Uh, but what you'll probably end up with some kind of pattern. But that is V Ray Fur. Um, also, within the attributes, you can um, obviously go in and paint certain. Um, things so we can create some kind of um, density texture um, length textures and really it just kind of works quite a lot like uh, bump maps and displacement maps in that you'll go into Photoshop uh, and using your UV layout take that into Photoshop and then just paint black and then paint white and plug that back into here and you'll end up with areas that are indeed bald long um, affected by the gravity or not so um yeah it's quite a versatile little thing and it's a uh, it's a great it's a great tool inside v-ray thanks guys take care of yourselves um speak to you soon bye bye